you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's not 1938. It's not 1938. And it's not 1492, 1492 when the Jews were expelled from Spain, and it's not 1290 when the Jews were expelled from England, and it is not 135, BC, 135 CE, which was the end of the Bar Kokhba revolt and the beginning of the exile that ended in 1948. It's none of those times. But it sure feels like it. <laughs> every trauma of every Jewish event feels like it's wrapped up today. Every button I got has been pushed. And it's amazing, the button resets every time. <laughs> and it's been a lot. And it is absolutely overwhelming but it's not 1938. It's not easy. Jewish history doesn't repeat, but it, everything that we've been through teaches us how to get through this moment. Yizker means to remember, but it means to also have perspective. Again, I'm feeling all of this. My heart jumps out of my chest every single day. And I feel the pain and I feel the anxiety that we're all going through, and it's real. But we don't have to give in to it. Our history has given us tools of how to approach these moments. And I'm going to share a story uh, about Rabbi Akiva. I've shared it before. It's one of the most powerful stories in our tradition. And it's a very difficult story. It doesn't have a conventional happy ending. But I think it's very instructive about maybe how we think about things today. Uh, Rabbi Akiva was born in the year 50 of the first century of the Common Era, and he obviously one of our one of our great leaders, one of our great rabbis in so many ways. But during the Bar Kokhba revolt, which was a, nine, a 132 to 135 CE, uh, trying to break free of uh, of Roman domination, Rabbi Akiva was arrested for teaching Torah in public. Uh, the Romans made a decree that it is illegal to be Jewish in public. They weren't rounding up Jews who were keeping their head down. They weren't rounding up Jews who hid their Jewishness. They were only arresting Jews who were teaching Torah in public, who were being who they were. So they didn't round up those Jews who kept their head down, who hid, until they did. Rabbi Akiva was arrested for teaching Torah after his friend Papo said to him, isn't this dangerous? <laughs> teaching Torah in public is going to get you in trouble. Just keep your head down, hide who you are, and it'll be okay. Rabbi Akiva is thrown in prison, and a couple weeks later, Papos is thrown in the same prison because the Romans didn't care about who was teaching publicly and who wasn't. The existence of being Jewish was the crime, not the expression. It wasn't what they did, it's what, who they were. And Papo said to Akiva, you know, we're both in the same boat. We're both in the same situation, but you're here because you were proud of who you were and because you took a risk and because you did the right thing. And I'm here right along with you and I didn't do anything. I didn't stand up. I didn't continue to be who I am. And I wish I could tell you it was a great story that the Romans left, and, uh, but they didn't. The Romans stayed for hundreds of years. But the Roman Empire is gone, we're still here. 
It's because we have chosen through our history to be a Kiva. We have chosen to stand up and be who we are. We have chosen to take a risk on being Jewish. Because the fact is, if you take a risk on being Jewish or if you don't, same thing's gonna happen. None of us are gonna live forever. But what we can say with our lives is, did we stand up for ourselves? Did we stand up for the right thing? I'm not talking about going fighting people and, and putting our Jewishness in their face. What I'm saying is we live our lives. We don't hide who we are. We stop supporting those who work against us, whether they're an organization, whether they're a celebrity, whether they're an individual. We stop voting for people who don't have our interests at heart. And I'm not telling you who to vote for. You have to make a decision. And you can make arguments in many ways. It is time to stop thinking that if we just hit ourselves and we were nice to everybody, that people would love us and they won't. And I am done caring about that. We have been here for 3,000 years and we have offered the world so much. And I don't need a thank you note, right? I don't need an acknowledgement. You know, when people talk about appropriation, like what do people do to our Torah? You want to talk about appropriation. I don't need acknowledgement. I don't need a thank you note. I just need the people we stood with to stop standing against us. The people who think that they are the master race to maybe think that they aren't and that we're all in this together. Our being here is beautiful. And I mean just here on a Thursday morning for Yisker. You took a risk coming here. There were other things you could have done. But every single one of us who took a risk being here means that our descendants will be here too. I'm afraid every day. I've been afraid every day since I was four years old. I learned about the Holocaust and my grandparents when I was four. And I have spent every day trying to prevent what happened to them happening to us. And I am afraid every day but I am not living that way. We are a beautiful people. We are flawed. We've got issues. But would you throw a diamond away because it had flaws? You just find the right setting for it. That's who we are. And that's who we've been for a long time. It's not 1938, there is a state of Israel. We have a voice, there are things that we can do and it may not work out. I can't guarantee you that everything is going to be okay. I wish I could, but I know that through our courage, through our strength, through our will to do the right thing, we will continue to create a beautiful future for those who come after us. And that you should never be afraid of. We have been here. We will be here. There will be Jewish children born in the world. There is going to always be a place for us because we are the place for each other. It's a terrifying time to be Jewish. There has never been a better time to be Jewish. We have us, we have a state of Israel, we have our traditions. Am Yisrael Chai.